Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the message of the day on your Minecraft server. What is the message of the day on the Minecraft server? Well, the message of the day, or M-O-T-D for short, is this, right? So whenever you join into a Minecraft server or add a Minecraft server to your server list, specifically, you have this right here, which is where it says, Rust, Breakdown, Craft, Survival, Skyblock, Factions is now live, come and enjoy, right? And that's what it says there. For example, if we wanted to add in Hypixel, we can see that there's this Hypixel network, 1.8, 1.15, Skyblock, Pets, Update, all that stuff, right? All servers have this, all servers have these message of the days here. And so because of that, we're gonna show you today how you can add, change, and set up your message of the day, how to add colors to it, all of that is going to be covered in this video. Now, one thing I will say is if you're running a server on Spigot, something like that, it's gonna be like Spigot, Vanilla, Paper, any Minecraft server directly where they're directly connecting into the Minecraft server itself, it's going to be different than if you're running on Bungie Cord, right? So I'm gonna be covering Bungie Cord later in this video. So if you wanna skip to that point, and if you're on a Bungie Cord network, go there. However, if you don't know what Bungie Cord is, you've never heard of it, or you just aren't running your server on Bungie Cord, then we continue on this tutorial. But first, we do have a smart sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex. You get an incredible 24-hour DNS protected Minecraft server. You can even set up a bungee cord network on Apex without any issues. It is absolutely incredible. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, playdownbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to do it. They worry about the hosting and the hardware and everything for you. They have incredible lag-free servers guaranteed, so go check out Apex again. That is the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get your own message of the day set up. Now, the first thing we want to talk about is the second link down below. When you click on that, that's going to take you here. This is the Minecraft color codes. Now, as you can see up here, it says spigot, bucket, paper, Minecraft color codes. Now, that's different, right? That's different. As you can see, note that the server's running bucket and its forks will need to use the message of the day formatting below to change the colors, right? So, if you have bucket like a bucket server your message of the day is not going to use these color codes we need to scroll down until you find this the message of the day minecraft color codes here this is what we're going to be using for this video right so all of these colors right here is what we're going to be using so let's go ahead and minimize our browser and when we do we have our server here now this is going to be the same for any minecraft server you're going to have a similar layout as to what you see here however i can delete this world folder because i don't need it but nevertheless it's going to be a similar layout to what you see here the file we're going to be editing here is the server properties file. Every Minecraft server ever made has a server.properties file. So let's go ahead and open that up. And then we can just open it with notepad. No reason to be too crazy with this. And all we want to do is scroll down until we see MOTD, which stands for a message of the day. Now, if we go ahead and we were to start this server, right? Like so, get this server started on up and we add it to Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. I'm just going to obviously add this to like that's the local IP address, we'll be able to see that the message of the day of this server is a Minecraft server. Nothing too crazy, right? Let's go ahead, 192.168.1.1. We will see if we click done, it just says a Minecraft server in the message of the day there, right? Which is what it says over here, a Minecraft server. But what if we wanna make this look cool? So we're gonna make it to like say, look really cool. We're gonna make it say a Minecraft server, survival, I don't know, factions, awesomeness. I don't know, that's what we'll make it say. But to do that, we're obviously gonna to need to stop the server. So let's go ahead and stop the server here. You will need to restart your server every time you change the message of the day. There's no way to do it like while the server's live or anything. Without a plugin, there are plugins that do message of the day, but that's not what this is for, right? So anyway, once we're here, let's go ahead and make this cool. So the first thing we need to do is access this page in our message of the day colors here. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna make this green. So we're gonna pull this up right here, just on this page, that way we can kind of see it. So we can make this green, and then we're also going to make it bold. Now, quick note on like bold, italics, all that stuff, it always needs to go after your color. So whenever you do like a color in Minecraft, for example, green here, you can then come in here and do like italics. So we can go ahead and take this one and copy it. Now you're gonna copy everything here, including the slash, and just paste it right before your text. So in this case, this is gonna be slash U zero zero A seven A, and then slash U zero zero A seven zero. And then it's gonna start your text, it's that simple. Then we're gonna go ahead and do a dash here, and we'll just make this dash bold, right? So we're gonna make the dash white, so we're gonna copy white there, and then we're gonna make the dash bold. So bold as well needs to be copied, right like so. And then we're going to say, you know, survival, sky block, or survival, factions, awesomeness. <laughs> Because why not? Now let's go ahead and make these all different colors. So one thing I am going to do is go ahead and make the commas here all just 
just white because yeah that's what we want to do and yes you will need to do this after every single one of these colors it's not too complicated if once you play around with it but I, I can get it's a little overwhelming here but all you're doing is copying the color code and then pasting it in so let's go ahead and make survival aqua and bold so we're going to go ahead and copy the aqua over for survival and then we're going to make that bold by doing right like so bam let's go ahead and make that aqua and bold factions we're going to make bold as well we're also going to make the awesomeness part bold but factions let's go ahead and make this this light purple here and by the way all of these colors are true to what they will look like in minecraft right so this color right here for factions that we're making it is going to be this light purple in minecraft if we go ahead and make for example i don't know awesomeness gold it's going to be that tone of gold as you can see it says it's gold they always call it gold but to me it's more of an orange then it is a golden color. But that's what it looks like in Minecraft, so that's what we have over here. So now, I know this is a lot, but basically all you need to know is now this is going to be green, then this little dash here is going to be white, and then survival is going to be blue, or an aqua color, and then all of our commas are going to be white, and then we're also going to have factions being the light pink and awesomeness being a gold color. That's a lot, but all I've done here is copy these color codes and pasted them over. Once you learn what these color codes are, right, I can identify them by the last letter, by the way. Like, this lowercase a is always going to be green. The lowercase o is going to be an italic sign. The lowercase f, that's white. The l, that's going to be bold. Once you start to pick up those sort of like things, it makes it super, super easy. But at this point, we can go ahead and save our message of the day. And then we'll minimize the color codes and start our server. And then if we come back to Minecraft after the server is set up and started, we will refresh and it will pop up the you know colors that we want to see here. So let's go ahead and let this get started. Uh, once it starts generating the world, a lot of times the server is technically online and the message of the day will load. Let's go ahead, let it start generating the world here. There we go. Now if we refresh, it will pop up. It says old. It's not actually old. It's not actually out today. It's just where the server's starting. So let's go ahead and, and let that start up. And then once we're finished starting up, we should be able to refresh right like so i refreshed it during a jump cut sorry about that we should refresh there and there it is we can see a minecraft server is in italics survival factions and then our commas are also white there just to prove to you one more time that we can do it this way let's go ahead and stop the server right like so it's going to close out of it and then we can come back here and this time let's see we have this but we have this second line that we can do um we'll do awesomeness all the time right so we can then go ahead and make this again a separate color one that we've not used we've not used the gray at all have we but gray doesn't look the best let's use red yes let's use bright red so we can do uh awesomeness all the time and then we will do both bold on this and italics so let's go ahead and do both bold on this one and italics and we'll even underline it we will go all out here and um just, yeah, because why not? So you can combine all of these color codes, by the way, for the formatting at the bottom, the italics, the underline, strike through, bold, all that. You can easily combine those with any of the colors you want, but you can't obviously combine colors. So now we save that. This time we can start the server. We're going to wait for it to fully start up this time before doing anything that we can see it in real time refresh, right? So we can see it in real time refresh here. Let's go ahead and let this get started up, and then we'll be good to go, right? So then after we've done this, by the way, after I've shown you one more time that that's how you change the message of the day, I'm going to show you how to do this on a Bungie Core server, right? So that is the most important thing is uh, understanding that this is done a little differently on a Bungie Core server, and it's very, very simple to do on Bungie Core, but I want to mention it here because I know a lot of people want to start network servers, and this is going to work on a network Minecraft server. So there we go. It says done, so we can come back into Minecraft, refresh. Might take it a second, and there it is. A Minecraft server, survival, factions, awesomeness all the time. Not the best formatting. I would obviously have awesomeness the same colors all the time because that's one sentence. But that's not here nor there. I've just shown you that you can do all the different formatting that you want. You could even, you could even strike out the in this if you wanted to. I won't do that because it's, it's just repeating the same process. But that's how you can change your message of the day. Just edit it in the server file using the color codes at the link in the description down below. But now let's go ahead and do this for Bungie Core. Now I'm not going to be able to show you this executing on Bungie Core just because setting up an entire test Bungie Core network can be a little bit of a pain and I also need to hide the IP addresses of the Bungie Core. So all that stuff is, is yeah. So anyway, I'm going to stop this server because we don't need it anymore. But if we open up Atom, which is my trusty code editor here, we'll be able to see that this is a Bungie Core config. So once we're in here, I have the breakdown crap Bungie Core stuff in here. A lot of stuff is zeroed out, right? And I know some might say that's a bit extreme, but it is and that's okay. But anyway, once you're in here, 
as you can see, we do have the bucket color codes. So if we come back over here for bungee cord servers, you will use the bucket spigot color codes up here. So all of these. So as you can see, we have, for example, breakdown craft, and I can actually show you this in like real time side by side here. So we do have breakdown craft, and as you can see, breakdown crafts in blue. And then we go to the green, bold, survival, awesome. Then we have this, that's actually the gray, right? And then Skyblock is in white. And then on the next line, we have Factions is now live, come and joy. Now that is one thing about Bungie Cord that you can't do on the like default Minecraft servers. You can't space line down, right? On Bungie Cord, you can have multiple lines to your message of the day. You cannot do that on the default Minecraft servers. So it makes Bungie Cord yet another feature in addition to using the bucket color codes. It also allows you to space down. Now one thing I will say is each server on your Bungie Cord network does have a message of the day. You can go in here and customize all these if you want. I would recommend changing those just in case. For example, for some reason I've noticed there has been times where this message of the day here has failed and it has used the fallback message of the day of the lobby. That's something that we don't see often, but I've seen it like maybe once or twice in the two years our server's been live. So anyway, there you all have it. That is how you can do that. Come play with us on our server, play.breakdowncraft.com. It is the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. As it says, we have survival, we have skyblock, factions it is now live. We have two incredible survival servers. Survival is amazing game mode on Breakdown Craft. We have aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy and medieval survival with 30 cuts custom quest and a player based economy you gotta check out medieval and then we do have skyblock as well with fence generators op enchantments 1.8 pvp and then factions every single thing in factions is custom but we even have a custom factions plugin we've got factions upgrades we've got custom enchantments we have so much stuff in factions you will love it stacking spawners awesome 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 crates it's incredible so come play with us play our breakdowncraft.com is the ip i cannot wait to see you online my name is nick that's how you can change your server message of the day and i am out peace